guys, welcome to Canva Tip Weekly. I'm your host, scraggly voice Olivia. I have some sinus issues this week and today is the day I need to record these, so we're just going for it. Um, sinus issues, I'm totally okay, I'm feeling great, and I sound worse than I feel. So let's get into it. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to do this, a very simple logo animation. The reason why I say simple up top, I'm going to encourage you, do not go wild now on animations on your website and on your newsletter. Websites and newsletters are hosted by their platforms, meaning Google Chrome is having to load this every time, meaning my G Gmail is having to load it every time. Social media is different because Instagram is handling that and it doesn't penalize you for that, but websites do. <laughs> so I'm going to give you this power because I believe in empowerment and I believe that I should teach you tools, but I also want to encourage you not to go insane with this. It's a cool trick. It, it helps to further your understanding of Canva, but don't go through here and animate every single thing that you see on your website. Notice how my website, nothing moves because I prioritize accessibility and faster page loading times. All of my images are optimized. They're very small in file size. Nothing is moving. Um, I might add some subtle things here and there sometimes, but again, I always prioritize a faster experience um, over doing lots of crazy stuff. So let's do it because I think it'll be fun and it might be something that I add to a page or two. All right. To start, let's go ahead and create a design. Um, you want to use a proportion or an, a, an artboard, create a file that, um, create a design, uh, that is the size of your logo, right? So you might have to do a little bit of thinking around that. So mine is a square, it fits into a square. So I'm actually just going to click Instagram post and call it. I want you to think about Canva, especially if you're not in the video editing tools, which we're not doing here. I just want you to create a basic item here. I want you to think about each of these pages as a frame, as an animation frame. So I'm going to come over here under logos and I'm going to click on my logo, which is right here, obviously. I'm going to make it large and I am going to um, duplicate it and change the color. Make me smaller. Um, I want my lightning bolt and my studio to change color. So I'm going to duplicate and then now I'm going to make it pink. And then I'm going to duplicate it and maybe make it green. All right. So now I have these items right here. I'm going to go ahead and call this logo animation one because I'm going to do this two different ways. Now I need to be able to access the um, timing tools. So I'm going to click animate and click simple and then I'm going to remove animation. I know that sounds like it's cheating. But for some reason for my Canva, that's what adds this little timer up here. I had to click into animate and then remove it. We, we do not want the animation in this. So here I'm going to click on edit timing. I'm going to edit the timing of this entire thing to 0.5. That's like a quick little flash. I'm going to apply to all pages and then be done. Now there's not really a way to um, preview this. Let's see. View only link. Let's see if that'll let me just view this file. There we go. Okay, so here's what this looks like. Let's let it load. Is it gonna play? No, of course it's not. Okay, never mind on that. So we just need a way to be able to preview this, but because I don't have an actual animation, it's not. So what I'm gonna do instead is download this file and we're going to download it as a GIF. A GIF is going to be the image changing for a website or a newsletter or for Giphy. You can absolutely update these things and add them to Giphy. So I'm going to click download. We're going to wait. Going to save it as logo animation one and show in finder. Here we are. Check it out. Click, 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 click. Very, very cool. So notice how since this is so simple, it's actually only 135 kilobytes, which is pretty good. You really want to go as little as possible here when it comes to a website or when it comes to a newsletter. And at the end of this video, I'm going to do a bonus newsletter thing as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty jazzed about um, how this looks. Now, you might notice something else that's really unfortunate is that for some reason Canva doesn't let us do transparency when it comes to saving our gifts. 
So while this would work because I have a website where my header is white, which is for me the most accessible option, for a lot of people that might not work. So in the show notes, I'm gonna give you this link. I've already done this once because I always do these videos 10,000 times before they're perfect. Um, I'm gonna give you this website. You're going to click here to upload your logo. Which is right somewhere. Gonna sing it out. Click that. And ta-da, now it's gonna look a little crunchy, which is the term for making it look kind of pixelated. But don't worry, if you save it, it's prepping it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like once it is saved. Show, ta-da. Now it is transparent and it's still just as high quality. So that's great. That's option number one. It's just a simple color change, right? What if I didn't wanna do a color change? What if I actually wanted this thing to move, right? Well, again, let's think about traditional animation. Traditional animation, when you watch animated films, like maybe Encanto, which I just watched, we don't talk about Bruno, or maybe um, a traditional Disney hand-painted, hand-painted, hand-illustrated, they don't actually draw a million different frames. They only draw a few, and your brain actually does a lot of the connections. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to tilt this guy right here, duplicate page, and tilt, right? This time I think, yeah, 0.5 should work. So now it should do this little swappy situation. So again, I'm gonna hit share. Uh, I'm gonna change this to logo animation two. Share, download, needs to be a GIF. We wait patiently. And we save. Save, save, nope, crap. Save, save, save. Show in Finder. Would you just look at how sweet that is? So now my logo is doing a little happy dance. So that is something that I could go upload to Giphy and use in my Instagram stories if I wanted to. I will probably also make a white version of this um, just to uh, be able to overlay it, but it's super cute. What other kind of stuff can you do using this feature? I'm actually going to go into my newsletter header, newsletter header, newsletter header, say that five times fast, which is somewhere, I don't know, it's probably in the actual folder it's supposed to be in, which is under your projects. Should be headers and thumbnails. Do you guys see it? Point it out. There it is, headers and thumbnails. <laughs> there it is, stay in the know with Let's Go Studio. What I'm gonna do here is actually make my terrazzo change color for my newsletter and then hope that it doesn't make it a million bajillion um, Oh, I don't think I have one that's color changeable. One moment. Okay, I found a terrazzo that was <laughs> one of my color changeable ones. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do, same process. I'm gonna duplicate this page. Canva's gonna freak out on me. Then I'm going to change the terrazzo to orange and yellow on green instead. That's cute. And then I'm gonna change it again one more time to do, I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, maybe like just white or something? I don't know. Not that creative. Okay, cool. So again, I'm going to click on the animate button, but then I'm gonna say, I'm gonna click rise, and then I'm gonna say, oops, remove animation. Just kidding, page animations, simple. Remove animation. Where is my timeline? We need the timer, which I found. You have to click off the screen, so you can't be here Right, so I'm going to remove this animation. I'm gonna click out, so click on this gray, and then it's gonna reset your toolbar. Again, I only want this to be 0.5, and I'm going to click share and download and make sure that it is a GIF. Click download, we're patient, we save. <laughs> I sound terrible, uh, and then we look. Oh, there it goes. It's just too slow. Oh, it's because I did five seconds and not 0.5 seconds. That is why. Let's try that one more time. We gotta love a an oops. Click download. Click download as a GIF. Be patient. Okay. Newsletter header. Let's do it again. Show and finder. All right. Cute. Now you can see that it is cheat. 
it is changing color. It's just going really slow, probably because I didn't apply that to all pages, did I? Of course I didn't. So don't make the same mistakes. Make sure you have your timing be pretty quickly and apply to all pages. So that's it, folks. That's how you make some really simple animations. I'll, I'm going to be doing more of these because the uh, making reels is one of my most popular videos, but that is how you do just a quick, simple logo animation for Giphy perhaps, or um, for your website, as long as you don't have it a super large file. All right.